Good morning, everyone. So this is try to attempt to to make a video about counting calories and and where to begin. I made a video, accident accidentally deleted it. So I'm going to try again. So everyone's been or a lot of people have been coming up to me and asking me, you know, about nutrition stuff. And and up until recently, I really, I mean, I knew the kind of general general stuff, but I didn't know as much as I probably should and need to and, and I still don't but I know more now because I've been doing research over the past few months so so counting calories where do you begin the first place to begin is figuring out how many calories you need and you know for most people you're probably like well duh but for most people they're like well how do I do that so here I am I'm gonna help you so what what um, that is described as is total daily energy expenditure or TDEE if you go online and type in TDEE there will be plenty of places or websites that pop up so what that is is just a um, it's just basically a test and it just goes through different different scenarios or, or different um, topics that's not the right word. Different things relating to your life and, and how you live that kind of give you an idea of you know how much energy you're expending throughout the day. So some of those things are your age, your your height, your weight, um, your job, um, how much you work out. Um, let's see. Oh, I have it written down. Your gender. Um, that's pretty much. I mean, those are the main ones. So if you if you were to go through all that and again go online type in TDEE and there'll be different websites that pop up. I personally like um, the website if it fits your macros or uh, if it i i f y m dot com. Um, that's just something that I've I've been going to recently. Uh, but it'll give you it'll give you the breakdown of you know how many calories you should be eating. And I I did a scenario with this. So for a woman, I did it for a woman because it's mostly women that ask me. But for a woman that's five three, 145 pounds, that's a teacher, so their their job is considered light um, in terms of movement. Uh, that works out three days a week, 45 minutes, and that at a moderate pace. For for that person, they would need eighteen hundred and thirty six calories per day to maintain their weight. So, if they <clears throat> wanted to lose weight, obviously they would eat a little less than that. And if they wanted to gain weight for whatever reason, um, they would want to eat more than that. Which I'll get into more of that in a future video. But the big thing is when you're when you're going to start counting your calories you have to know where to start and you you can't guess on this because the fact is most people most people aren't eating enough calories and if you don't eat enough calories you uh, your body's gonna think you know you're in starvation mode so it's gonna it's gonna hold on to a lot more than what it should and it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be fat for the most part so the 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 main idea is to just figure out where to start, and once you once you've done the the TDEE test, then you need to start hitting that goal. And you know your your weight if you've been eating a lot, you know underneath what you should be eating, your weight's probably going to go up, but it, you're going to be healthier. And then once once you kind of do that for a couple weeks, you know, fig get your body figured out, then you can start bringing it back down. It's it seems crazy, but it's honestly just what's going to help you and what's it's what's going to be the healthiest for you. So uh, to start counting your calories, go online to the and take the TDEE test, totally total daily energy expenditure. Again, there's many websites that have it, and that's the first step to, to counting your calories. Get that figured out, start to start there, and I will be 
be back with another video on the next step. Good luck.